I'm Pam. And I'm Erica. And we're here today to help you with our new video for this fun, really fun confetti quilt. It's made with some great Riley Blake fabric. Like our sample, it was using fat quarters, but you could use this as a great way to use up some scraps if you might have any laying around the house. I don't know, some quilters have a stash, I heard. Some Just of us saying. Do. Just saying. Also, um, we're gonna show you how to use parallelograms, and not since ninth grade math, have you had to worry about par parallelograms. And happily, that means we've done the math part for you. Right. So we're using the 12 inch cube for this, and it's going to be die number seven and five. But because we number all our cubes the same, right. you could actually do the same thing with a different size cube. You would just end uh -huh. up with a different size project. Great. So if you own the six, eight, or nine inch cube, you can do this pattern as well. All right. So we are going to cut both the parallelograms and the coordinating half square triangles. Okay. Now we're going to use the go big today. We could actually use a go cutter as well, but because we're working with a 12 inch cube, we would not be able to use the Go Baby because our parallelogram die would be too big for that. Right. Now a parallelogram is what we call a directional shape, right? It Pam? is, it is. So keep in mind quilters when you're using this shape that you read the instructions all the way through because Erica is going to lay it, she's gonna smart stack it in a specific manner. The directions are gonna tell you to lay them with right sides up and so I very carefully stack those so that we've got some right sides up. I've only got three layers, but of course I could go up to six. Right. I'm gonna put my mat on top and send this one through. Now, because we've got the mat on there, remember you can use both sides of your mat. Correct. And move it around a little bit from side to side, spread out those cuts and prolong the life of your mat. So I'm gonna drag this off. We recommend dragging Slide or sliding it. that off so that you don't pull half of your shapes off with the static. There's our parallel parallelogram. See, there's the word there of the day. There you go. And now I'm gonna cut my half square triangles. Now, remember when we're doing our shapes, we wanna make sure that our lengthwise grain is parallel to the lengthwise blade as it goes lengthwise through the cutter. Or as I like to think of myself, long and lean. Oh, that's good. There Every you go. Every quilter, you should be long and lean. There we so go. So we've checked it for the tautness. We're gonna lay that parallel. And I always say, we're quilters, we like to square things up, but fight the urge right now. And we're gonna send that through as well. And then we'll be ready to have Pam do some sewing magic okay. for us. All right, Miss Pam, here are some half square triangles for you. Great. You can see on these, we've got dog ear corners and they're gonna help Miss Pam lay these out Right. So I'm gonna put those there for Perfect. you. So here's what I would suggest you do, quilters, to make sure that you're sewing the correct sides, because sometimes I find that quilters sew the wrong sides. So I'm gonna lay my parallelogram, just like it shows you here. I'm gonna lay it out just like this, okay? Now I'm gonna take my gray fabric, and I'm gonna put right sides together, but look at this. I'm gonna line up, because we've cut off the dog ears, I can cut off and line it up right here in the edge of that parallelogram, okay? And you'll notice that little piece of dog ear is just peeking out. That's okay, you don't stress about it. When you're all done, you'll wanna clip those off, but for the time being, just leave it right there. So now, quilters, I would tell you to cut all your pieces out in one time, lay it out, and then you could start to chain stitch. All right, so I'm just gonna line up my sewing machine right here toward the end. You want to make sure, Erica, that you get a true quarter inch seam, not just a scant quarter inch Perfect. seam. Come right here to the end. Well, that's a really good point. You know, when, when you're, every time you start a uh, new quilt, you should probably check your seam allowance every time you're starting something new because even your thread can throw off your seam allowance. So right. I keep my guide handy and check it all the time. So I just did a little press there, and now I'm going to press it towards that half square triangle. Perfect. Okay, and so see, look, we're all ready. Now, you'll notice right here in the end, quilters, see that little dog ear that's sticking out? Don't stress about it. When you're all done, you can cut them off. And then we would just add the other half square triangle to the other side and continue on with the pattern. So now, quilters, all you need to do is add that other half square triangle here to our parallelogram, and you've made this section here. Now, to finish out the black area, 
You want to be sure and take your two inch strip cutter and we're gonna cut strips to put them between each of the blocks. Okay. And you'll notice, Erica, that they're diagonally changed. So some of the parallelograms are going like this and some are going like that. So be sure and look at the pattern Perfect. and see how they all fit together. And that's how we get our fun confetti look. It's terrific. We'd love to see your finished version of the confetti quilt. Be sure and check us out at AccuQuilt.com on our ideas page. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Remember at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. Music